So I got the following question about how to solve this dimensional analysis problem, and I thought I'd walk you through the steps of how I would do it. A prescription for 25 milligrams of drug Z per pound of child's weight a day. Uh, a child weighs 35 kilograms. The parents would prefer how many mLs of the liquid to give liquid medication. You've found a liquid medication that contains 0.8 grams of drug Z per milliliters of solution. How many mLs of the liquid medication should the child take to meet the prescription? Round your answer to the third decimal place or uh, three decimal places. The first thing I want to point out is the fact that they want you to round to three decimal places. Um, just be very careful with that. Um, in real life, you aren't administering, if, if a parent is administering medication, they're really administering probably to the 10th place. But okay, so how do we start? Well, you could have a ginormous, very long problem or you could begin to solve things that you know so we know that the child's weight is 35 kilograms and one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds you i would recommend that you start writing down what you know with the problem and sometimes it'll help you arrive at the answer so the prescription and that's what rx stands for so the prescription is for 25 milligrams per pound of the child's weight a day and if the child weighs 35 kilograms first you want to convert kilograms to pounds now I when I was in nursing school we would say that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds and that was enough for us now if your school is a little bit like if they're saying one kilogram equals 2.20462 pounds then stick to that because if we're rounding to three decimal places that will throw the calculation off slightly but 35 kilograms we're trying to get to pounds so if one kilogram and this child weighs 35 kilograms we're going to multiply 35 by 2.2 pounds and that gives us 77 pounds so the weight of the child is 77 pounds now the first thing you want to do is ask yourself does this make sense right 77 pounds yes okay that does sound like a reasonable number um, obviously if you were to get 500 pounds always check your math and see where you went wrong before you start setting up your problem the next step that you need to do is convert grams to milligrams. So grams is a larger unit of measurement and we're moving from a larger unit of measurement to a smaller unit of measurement. So the number is going to be bigger, it's going to appear bigger. So to convert grams to milligrams, the easiest way is just you move the decimal three places. So I got rid of the grams there for you because I felt like I was going to confuse you. So you have the decimal place and you just move it one, two, three, and then you get milligrams and it's 800 milligrams. Again, one, two, three, you get 800 milligrams. So now we can start to set up our problem. So you always, if we're looking for milliliters, it says how many milliliters. So that's what you're going to put on the left, what you are looking for. So milliliters is equal to, and whatever you start with, whatever unit of measurement you start with on the left, you're going to put at the very top. Now, what is married to milliliters that is together in the equation? And the only thing that is married together is that there is one milliliter contains 800 milligrams. And then you have to, now why I love dimensional analysis is because it's plug and play. You literally just cross out your unit of measurement. So in order for milligrams to cross out, milligrams are at the bottom. You're gonna to have to put milligrams at the top. So what do you have that is a unit of measurement of milligrams? And that is the prescription. You have 25 milligrams per pound, right? So one pound, and then you're gonna put, you need to cross out pounds. So then you're gonna put 77 pounds at the top, and then you're just gonna multiply across. So 25 times 77, is 1,925, and you're going to divide that by 800. So 1,925, you're going to divide that by 800, 
and I wrote 2.4 mLs. And this is why I was telling you, be careful with the decimal places because this is why I always triple check my work because I was like, oh, it's 2.4 mLs. And then I went back and I reread. And I was like, oh, that's right. They want to three decimal places. So if you, div if you were using 2.2 as your conversion, so if you were using one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds, then when you divide 1,925 by 800, then you are going to get 2.406 as your answer. That's to three decimal places. Now, alternatively, if you were using a more precise unit of measurement and you used one kilogram is equal to 2.20462 pounds, that would have given you uh, 2.411 milliliters. So as you can see, depending on if you use 2.2 or 2.20462, the answer would still be 2.4 mLs, but the last two decimal places, um, well, really only, either, either would be 2.406 or 2.411. Um, that would be the only slight variation. But anyways, I hope you found this helpful. Um, drop a comment below if you found this helpful. And uh, if you need additional help, let me know.